what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Hello fellow Jews, this is Catching Fire 3 and it's been quite a while since I've actually played a game on this channel and it's it's um it's already 12.04 a.m. so I have to be kind of quiet but not too quiet because not everybody can hear me but I, I've been streaming a bit on Twitch uh, you can find the link down in the description most likely and if not then I'll add it to my description but I've been streaming quite a bit. I've been streaming games that are very long, so I've I've been off of YouTube for a bit. But this is gonna be the first one I've done in a while, so I'm gonna be a little bit different, you know? Because I'm used to interacting with people, so let's try this out. Uh, I don't remember what I said for this. Y yeah, now let's burn this building down. The three of you all burst into the building. What, what, what is that? What the fuck? Why is there a flamethrower? Fuck your, fuck your taxes. Let's burn this place to the ground. My name is Drip Bean. Put me on the wanted list already. What, you want to get caught? Hell yeah, I want to be the drippiest criminal ever. Mad lad, I respect it. Ah! The accountant fucking dies. Jesus Christ. Hell yeah, murder! Well, that's not gonna look good on my record. Yeah, yeah, we have done enough damage. I'm gonna blow it up. Bomb has been planted. Shit, you brought the bomb from Scuff Deathmatch? It's just a bomb, bro. Calm down. You had a bomb and you made me use a flamethrower? Whatever, let's just blow it up. The janitor puts a bomb onto the IRS building and fucking blows it a fucking... Oh shit, look at all that fire, holy shit. Dear lord, I'm about to bust. Dang, that explosion was better than I thought. Then, I thought? <laughs> so, okay, yep. Uh, guys, it's the cops, let's get out of here. Fuck, let's go. You three all escaped the scene. Shit, that was close. Okay, thanks for that, Scott. I guess I should get back going. Hold on. Get going. Fuck. Get going back to the hospital. They, they'll they think I'm insane. Fair enough, you're fucking mental. Hey, you better have meant that in a good way. My man janitor is busting busting. I... I was not expecting that. Respectively. They then... They then together say some weird sheesh th Oh, sheesh thing. It is very cringe. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I'll see you around. Hey, you're coming with me. We have a job to do. Oh, yeah, you hired me. He works at the arcade now? Fuck yeah, stuff going, stuff going to the hospital. Damn, that was quick. You three all head to the arcade. Let's save real quick. Wait, shit. I don't have a timer. Actually, whatever, I don't care. Hey, Jessica. Hey, Jessica. Hey, Jessica. Yo, wait, what? Janitors just searched from the hospital? Hell no, that place is boring. Yeah, he's staying with us. No fucking hell, janitor, you're coming with me. What? No, no, wait, wrong prison. What? Ah. Oh. So 12 or 7. I have to pay attention to the time. Jessica drags Janitor out of the room. Alright, so I got sent this arcade cabinet. It's for a new game, apparently. Okay, and what are we supposed to do? The sound would, but Janitor isn't here, so we need to do some big brain solution epically. That is... This game is kind of cringe, actually. Okay, I th Okay, I think I can do something like this. I trust you, 0%. Are there any instructions? You and Drippy spend 30 minutes trying to find a solution. Uh, I think I found some instructions, but they're written in some weird language. Oh shit, you're right, but yeah, well, that language, it looks in English to me, but I can't manage to read it. Jessica? You called to Jessica. Jessica enters the room. You called. Yeah, uh, these instructions look like they're in a different language. Any thoughts? 
Female bean dumbass, you have the book around the wrong way. <laughs> it's in English. Oh. You <laughs> That's so dumb. That would be something an idiot would do. Or in this case, any bean, I guess. You and Drip Bean stay silent as Jessica leaves. Well, these instructions look easy. All we need is a couple of power tools. Easy as that. Yeah, but Janitor has them. So what's your solution? Easy, we, we will be the power tools. E excuse me, what? Well, we only need to whack if you whack. Okay, you're stupid. I think you're heavy enough to knock them. Me? Hell no, we, we're we using you. No, you are being used, but I don't want to. Oh, fine, but you're gonna have to give me some drip. A drip? Hell no. Well, then it's either you drip or your body. Your drip or your body. Fine, I guess I'm being the tool. Yep, you're definitely a tool, right? Okay, stay still. You pick up dripping so ow, ow, remember- Oh, yeah, saw that coming. Ow! Yo, it worked! Let's go. I didn't- Let's go! I didn't die! What the fuck? We had power tools in the storage closet. Oh. You think you're gonna get away with the- Ow. You run back to your partner while dripping chases you. Got away safely. Whew, that was close. Your vitals suggest that. Shut the hell up. You can make dinner, right? I certainly can. What would you like? Well, what are my options? Starvation. I'm joking. Grim Beaner, is this another prank? Damn, I got caught. Here's some BFC. B bean fried chicken? BFC sounds mank. Bean fried chicken, of course. You take a bite of the wings. Oh, now I'm hungry. This shit is busting respectfully. Enjoy, winky face. Remember, you only have 11 days left. I'll be waiting. Stop using that emote. It's creeping me out. Okay, daddy. <laughs> now this is straight up weird. Okay, goodbye, winky face. You're so annoying. I hope you know that. Jesus, that guy. You had off to sleep on your couch. They said, how many days? Like, is it a whole week? You get woken up suddenly by a loud bang. Don't worry, not the life-threatening ones. Well, welcome back, Scott. Cut the shit, I don't care how long I slept for. All right then, this guy has sent you some supplies in the mail. I can cook you some bacon and eggs. Sure, hang on, how the fuck do you get bacon and eggs in the mail? The pipeline system in Pog City allows any item of a certain size to be instantly transported to any location. Ah, I see, that's cool, I guess. Okay, here is your bacon and eggs. Damn, these are good. You eat your breakfast. You have a new message. You have a new message. Who from? Emma, the manager. And what's she saying? Hey Scott, just calling you, just gun janitor. I'm gonna be gone a couple days. I will be gone until Monday. And I will also be out on Tuesday when the game launches. I won't be leaving until Friday, so we have today and tomorrow to train you up. I tried getting dripping in, but he's going on vacation on Sunday, so he's out of the question. So it's just going to be you, just getting. So it's just me and Jessica at this point, because Janitor's in the hospital. I will try my hardest to find some extra help, but this looks like it's it for now. We might have to close on Friday if we need extra training. Well, anyway, I need you guys down here early today. Meet me here at 9 a.m. so we can do some training. Uh, Smart Home, what's the. It's 8.55 a.m. Shit. You forgetting something? No, um, uh, hmm. how did you get into my house? You left your door unlocked. Come on, let's go. Fine. You and Jessica left for work. That's good to know that we, did we arrive in time? Okay, so we're testing now, right? Or training. We have to wait for Emma to get here so we can just check our assignments for now. Wow, this is a new room. Jessica goes to the fridge to check the assignments. All right, so we need to, uh, uh, cleaning. That's right. Holy shit, who's that? It's just me. Janitor bursts into the room. Oh my god, how many times do I have to take you back to the hospital? Fine, Jesus Christ, I just want to hang out with you guys. Holy shit, stop running. Oh, hey, Jessica and Scott. Yo, doc. Don't forget our appointment. It's tomorrow if you didn't know already. Oh yeah, we were gonna, you were gonna tell me everything, right? That's correct, don't be late. What time? 10 a.m. Oh, I'll try not to sleep in. Oh, jeez. Good. Uh, where did... Janitor has disappeared. Oh, God. Shut up, too distracted having a conversation that he got away. Well, I guess you could just come with me and find him. 
Oh uh, yeah, sure. Cleaning sounds. Cleaning sounds? Cleaning sounds. What does it sound like? It sounds boring as shit. <laughs> nice. You sprint out of the room. Quick, out here. Leads you to the back door of the arcade. What? How come you know this exit? I don't. I just managed to just stumble upon it, but it looks like Janitor's been through here quite a bit. Yeah, let's follow it. And you know what? Janitor is definitely going to be a pain in the ass this game, isn't he? Alright, so it looks like these are his footprints. Let's go. How do you know his footprints? Oh yeah, he's a doctor. He should know. You and the doctor follow the footprints into a sketchy hall alleyway, not hallway. Are uh, you sure this is the right way? This looks like it's a dead end. Oh no, where did he go then? He climbed. I'm right here. What the hell? You came? Oh yeah, I just did. Explains why my dick is so... <sighs> Not that cat. Doctor quickly leaves the alleyway. What did you do? Jessica enters the alleyway. Oh my god, it's so sticky. <laughs> Ew. Oi, you dumbass. Jessica whacks you in the head. You blacked out. Oh, great, thanks. He's waking up. Good. This is good. Did you knock me out? Yeah, about that. I kind of used too much force. You open your eyes. So where am I? You are in the emergency department because you got knocked badly. We suspect you might have a concussion again. Bro, I'm a scuff bean. We are immune to concussions. True, but before we can discharge you, I need to ask you a couple of questions. What is my name? Okay, he's safe to send home. Do you mean safe to go to work? No, he must rest today. Actually, he's staying here until his appointment tomorrow. I'm not risking him leaving here. Bloody hell. Well, we might be screwed. I would say, but I gotta do cleaning. If you know what I mean. Well, enjoy. I certainly will not. Just gonna leave as well as Anthony. Can I go back? I wanted to, s I wanted to see something. Okay, save. Right here. I wanted to see something. Return. Well, it looks like he doesn't indeed have a concussion. Bullshit! Well, guess we just have to wait. He died because of Ligma well concussed. Emma. Well. Oh, I just die of Ligma if I don't get it right. Anthony. Okay. Here we go. Rest well. There's, there's more days. How many days is there? You get woken up by something that isn't the smart home. Okay, Scott. Looks here that you had a good sleep. What time is it? 10 a.m. That's why I came here. You came? No. Anthony left. You laughed as the nurse came in. Oh hi, nurse. Hey. Oh no, is that the lowercase virus? How can you tell? You're speaking in all lower cases. Wait, it looks like a robot, kind of. Whatever, you said the doctor came? Yeah, as a joke, why? Ah, uh, I wanted to see it. Weird. Anthony re-enters the room. Uh, did you hear what I thought I heard? Did I hear what I thought I heard? Uh, no, nothing. I didn't say anything. Nurse storms out of the room. Damn, I always knew nurse kind of simped for me, but I didn't know she was a creep. Oh, it's already been ten minutes. But I'll keep going for a little bit longer. That's kind of mean. I don't think she meant it like that. Anyway, time to explain what happened. So last week, a huge hacker network known as Encrypto hacked into the arcade network around Pog City. <coughs> they implanted a bug into the new scuffed Epic B-Hop Simulator, the 2023 version. As well as a bunch of other games, but the bug only survived in this game without being noticed. Basically, what happens when the developers need to test a new update, they need people to test the new versions. But when they can't get people to do it, they get a bunch of AI to do it. And when the new update, which had a hotfix for major bugs, came out, the bug hit a bunch of AIs, which is how we have come into existence. What? So both of us are artificial intelligence? But I have free thought, emotions. Don't think of Pog City as a non-techy city. The technology here is top of the society, which is why... We have all these things regular things have. Anyway, you probably are wondering how AIs like us could have been put into these bodies from a bug. It's really complicated, but to make a short version for you, there was this popular sport or whatever these teenagers call it. 
It required a lot of people to play, but when the sport was dying, the people to play the game were lacking. So the scientist, right, created robot bodies that can encapsulate an AI's core processing system inside of it, which they used to play the sport. What was the sport? Gaming, popular games that we see in the arcades were performed in real life. Don't ask me how, but since the games have moved into an arcade machine, then so have us AIs. Interesting, I guess. So how the fuck did we get in these robots bot uh, robot bodies? And there's something that isn't lining up here. You and I got teleported at different times and B Hop Simulator 2027 is out. Why would they? Whoa, whoa, calm down there. The bug caused us to have a conscience and upload us into the old robots that they have used. No one knows what Encrypto was trying to accomplish, but we are here now. This is kind of interesting, actually. What about the timing differences? Like you said that there, like you said there was some people number that had experienced the bug. Did we not all discover it at the same time? No. Depending on how long we took to find the bug was how long it took us to escape the game. I do remember the game rather vividly though. I wasn't very good at it, but I want to go back someday. What B Hub Simulator? I, I'm not good at that either. I've tried. Yeah, that explains why I got out when there was already a sequel out. Do you expect more people to come out from the bug? No, not really. We, You were the last. We didn't have another person escape for a whole three years. But when you came, the government just decided that too many AIs had escaped and that they would disable the robots for good. Well, I guess I am uh, certainly lucky then. Yep, yeah, you sure are. Well, is there any way I can find out more about Encrypto? I'm really intrigued about it. Yeah, the public records area will tell you all you need to know about them. Alright, thanks, Doc. Not now, though. I think Jessica's expecting you at the arcade. Oh, yeah. I might go check up on Nurse. She has the medical papers I need you to have. Be right back. You waited a few minutes. Jeez, I know doctors normally take a while, but this long? I mean, it was only a few minutes, right? It did, it did say that? You waited even longer. Finally, Anthony came back. Anthony! Sorry, that's not even my meme. I shouldn't be quoting that. I can't find her, I've looked everywhere, maybe it's my brain that's failing me, but I would appreciate it if you could help me search for her. I'll find her, yeah, no worries. I've searched everywhere, except out of the doctor room, let's go there together. Alright, I'm scared. You and Anthony traveled together up to the second doctor room of the hospital. Nurse? Silence. Uh, I think I can smell perfume. What direction? To our left. There was an open door straight to your left. I I'm scared of what I'm gonna see. Smelled horrific. The smell coming from the room made you puke. You okay? Just a small vomit. I'll be alright. Anthony walks in. Okay, well, I don't think she's in here. Anthony lets out a big scream, and I can't do that. Ah! You run over to Anthony. What is it you put? Whoa. What? Oh, shit. That was my second guess. That was my this was my second guess. You have no idea what to say. Oh, no. How did this happen? Looking at her body, there's no doubt that this is a suicide. What are we going to do? I don't know. I, I don't know why she would just kill herself like this. She seemed happy to me. It might be because of what happened before. Yeah, this is probably my fault entirely. Don't blame yourself. We can clean this up. And hide it? What sort of maniac are you? No, we need to get her buried and send her off in a proper way. I can't believe this has happened. I don't want you to worry about the nurse. You have a job to get to. Don't let some AI like me stop you from working. Don't... Don't say that. You are as human as everyone else. Just get out. I need time to myself. Whatever, Doc. Where's my... You leave the hospital for... Fuck. Ten minutes later. I... I was... Focusing on something else. Scott, where the hell were you? We had a situation at the hospital. The nurse, she kinda... Left us. Don't tell me. Unfortunately. Holy shit, is Anthony okay? He needs time to himself, I think. They were very close. Damn, that's really shit and fucked up. Yeah, but we should leave that to Anthony. We need to get ready for the big day. True, but I feel bad for him. Come on, we can go see him tomorrow. Okay, fine. You and Jessica played the new B-Hop Bean forever, whatever. That went by way too fast for me to read. It was okay, too many achievements locked behind a paywall. <laughs> nice. The developers mentioned that the achievements will eventually be available for everyone. Good. That seems just like every game company nowadays, huh? Well, I'm going back now. Okay, see you tomorrow. 
you walk back to your apartment. Damn, this is weird. Get up to your bed and go to sleep. What if it wasn't? Forget it. Doctor said it was a suicide. There's no way that it wasn't. I must be delusional. God, I am tired. For now, I need sleep. Day not. There's another day? You wake up to some random man singing Obama hamburger sussy balls. Little Mosey's white sussy balls get real. What the fuck? Jesus Christ, what the fuck was that? Good. I'm done with you. Whatever you say. Alright. You leave to head to work. Goodbye. Okay, it's 12 p.m. We have three hours until the arcade opens. This is probably the only practice we are going to get before the kids come in. Alright. You can just go get practice. 3.5 hours later. You see some kids smashing machine and decide to ignore it. Are you going to do anything about that? Why should I? <sighs> because you work here. Oh, right. It doesn't matter. I'm going to deal with them. Manager leaves to go to the child bean. After 10 minutes waiting for something to happen, Jessica sneaks up behind you. And I know I said happen. I meant to say happen. Oh, ha- Fuck! You and Jessica stare at each other. You head over to manager. Uh, what happened here? The manager is tapping the button on the machine. The machine's busted. Shit. What happened here? The machine's busted. Damn. You and Jessica glance at each other. Why are you guys over here? Shouldn't you be at the counter? Uh, I guess. Then leave. You leave and head back to the counter where Jessica heads to the vending machine. Since when was there a vending machine there? Oh, it's been there for a while. Um, s sir, can I have 12 tokens? Yeah, do you have any money? No. Alright then, ah, uh, here then. You gave the child being 12 tokens. Did you just give that bitch free tokens after you broke the machine? Uh, no. <laughs> well, uh, bye. You head over to the still broken machine. You notice the button is lifted from the machine. Why would she just... You push the machine into the slot. Hey, did you fix it? I mean, I get... Wow, you're just like Candace. Who, who, oh, God, who's Candace? Silence filled the room. Candace, the bean that worked here before you? Oh. Oh, well, all right then. Oh, I thought... That, that scared me. I thought it was going to be a Candace dick fit in your mouth joke. You feel something tugging at your leg. You instinctively kick it as hard as you can. Ow! Oh, shit. <laughs> what is wrong with you? A lot. Anyways, what do you want? I wanted to cash in my tickets. Okay, well, come over here. You go to the prize counter with the child following you. I bet he doesn't even have enough tickets, does he? With 12 tokens. <laughs> so you have six four or six thousand four hundred twenty tickets. Wait, how the hell did you get that much from twelve tokens? Heh. <laughs> well, what do you want? I want that crimson knife plushie. Here you go. Is that it? Yes. Okay, so leave. All right. You slouch onto the counter, letting thoughts flood in your head. Flood your head. Hey! You jolt up, nearly falling over. <laughs> what? I want more stuff. Okay, well, you only have seven tickets. I know, I want letter stickers. There are dusty stickers of letters on in one of the prize containers. Okay. So it's been, what, 20 minutes, possibly? Yeah, I'll stop here. If you like this video, leave a like, comment down below if you want to see more, subscribe if you're new, and may the odds be ever in your favor. I know this is kind of weird, but I have a Twitch channel that I've been doing more often than actually recording any videos. I know, I know, I've been recording videos since I was like 13 or something. But when I started streaming, it was because of a good friend, The Rise of a Lion. And I really like streaming. I really like YouTube as well. But I've just haven't had like found time for both of these things. So if you do look in the description and click on my Twitch link, that would be greatly appreciated. I have a, a third channel where I post my VODs 
originally I just had them like you know on my twitch channel for good but I hope everybody enjoyed this video and I hope you all have a good day